Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Look, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly I didn't know right. he was still in the and city. Mr. Dahl has most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatine. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot that would sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away. It's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame.
won't find better deal. Is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim? We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to me like that. Shut up, Fatim. Get off the radio. You're going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking, or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you. Idiosyncratic, great. You have no idea what you're doing. Sick of covering for you. Mr. Dahl should fire you. Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes. How did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. No, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. <sighs> well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. Ah, we hey, have you been looking for a runner? To do a well, job. we're looking for one who will say yes instead of no. Job. Jafar can fill you, you in. But do you think Dr. Zeus is smarter than Cornelius? <laughs> well, yes, obviously. Orangutans were the smartest. Cornelius hey, you want to try calming down thing. long enough to tell me what's yeah, wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. So calming down will work. Desires. Yeah, the calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve oh, everything. Okay, kill. okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the no, night things can't stand play. because they put out this UV, yes, which stands for it. ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it, UV flares, continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine, it's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find, except Everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise... Oh, is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last 10 seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh, that's very funny. Ha ha, very funny, funny man. Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way. You're freaking nuts, bro. Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. It's you again? I mean, uh, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one-time job, and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? 
We've been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site, and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch. There must be angels. Rice's people are everywhere. I just saw some of them in the tunnel near the lake. Couldn't tell exactly what they were doing, but they looked pretty busy. Don't you worry. As long as we're here keeping eye on everything, no one will get through.
Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nut job soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time. Like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy. What's the matter? That brute Harun threw my sister Ida out of the village. She's a widow with two children, Yasmina and Jamil. They snuck under the fence to go after their mother. Yasmina came back yesterday, but Ida and Jamil are still out there. Please, can you find my sister and nephew and bring them back? I'll do what I can. Where's the girl? In my house. She's hiding from Harun. She thinks he'll throw her out, too. Maybe I'll talk to Haroon. He's not here. Oh. Well, you'd better go find him. Yasmina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now, can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me. And my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. What did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there. And then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more. But that me and my mom could stay in his basement as, as his puppets. I don't know what he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him and told me to run, so I did. It's all right, Yasmina, I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. Where can I find Haroon? Yeah, most likely he's under the bridge. That is where most trolls reside. Eating fish heads, perhaps. Arun? 
Can't you see I'm busy? Why'd you force that woman to leave the village? You mean Ida? She's infected. All infected gotta go outside. Is that Gersel's rule? Some people don't want to make the tough calls around here. Well, I did. If Ida didn't want to get thrown out, she shouldn't have let herself get bit. Tough luck. <laughs> Bad break. What about her kids? What about them? There's no answers in around here. I was doing them a favor so they wouldn't have to watch us hacking up their mum when she turns into a fucking monster. I'm starting not to like you. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble. You seem like a good guy. Have a nice day, okay? Now go fuck yourself. My conscience is clean. I did the right thing. Ah! <laughs> 
Hang on, take it easy, take it easy. I won't hurt you. You're Jamil, right? Y yes Okay, I'm looking for your mom. Can you tell me where she is? Yasmina was bitten by one of those creatures. So mom took her to a man that found a medicine that fell from the sky. She said his name was Salim. Do you know where Salim lives? In the tool shop. All right, now listen to me, Jamil. I'm going to go get your mom and come back for you. So you wait right here, okay? Okay, just come back soon. All right, we will. Don't worry. Salim! Salim, we need to talk! Go away! I'm armed, so you better get the hell out of here. You have to let Ida go! You mean that stupid woman? She's dead. She was infected, so I had to kill her. Now, her daughter says you have antizin. I don't know anything about this. It has nothing to do with me. Salim, I'm not leaving without her. Oh, yeah? So you want to have a party? How about I invite some more guests?
What's he done to you? Take it easy, take it easy, you're free. Yes, Mina, my daughter. She went... She's safe, she's back at the village. Your son's still hiding at the house where you left him. What am I going to do? We can't stay in the village. Haruno throw us out again. You're going to take your kids and go to the tower. I want you to find a doctor there named Lena. Tell her that Crane says to take care of you, and that he'll make sure there's enough antizin for you and your daughter. You are Crane? Yeah, yeah, I'm Crane. Now go back to Jamil. He's waiting for you. Yasmina's with your sister. Thank you for being kind to me. I didn't think there was any kindness left. I'm Neil Fallon. I'm a journalist for International Affairs magazine. Yeah, I've heard of you. You have? How the hell'd you get in here? It wasn't so hard during the first few days of the quarantine. And when they put Suleiman in charge, it was pretty clear how things were going to go. So you decided to stick around? Actually, I've decided to leave. Though God knows how that's gonna happen. I've been in some lockdown cities before, but there's usually someone you can bribe. Not here. I can't get you out of Haran. I'm not sure anyone can. No, of course. But I've been documenting this place, pretty much from day one. I've interviewed hundreds of... Well... People who aren't people anymore. Suleiman has a lot to answer for. The world needs to know what's happened and... Look, I'm kinda desperate here. I've lost my work, all of it. I was holed up at an internet cafe when a mob of infected landed on me. I got out without a bite, but I left my satchel at the cafe. And everything's in the satchel? Most of it. They chased me for a while, so I finally had to ditch my camera in a car. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, 
All right, even if I recovered them, you still don't have a way out of here. Mister, if I can't get my work back, there's no reason for me to get out. Well, that cafe's in a bad area. I'll... I'll think about it, but no promises, okay? Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 